Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Bitcoin charts as Bitcoin has printed yet another bearish candle over on the weekly chart. So with that being said, let's jump right over to the weekly chart. And so the weekly candle that just closed yesterday has printed once again another bearish candle. And as you can see, there is a long wick towards the upside. And what that basically means is the buyers were able to push the price up. However, they were unable to hold the price up. And eventually the sellers were able to take back control of the battlefield and push this price down. And we get another bearish candlestick over here on the weekly candles. So now the question is really whether or not the bulls are able to push this price back up and hold the price up similar to what we saw back here on this candle. We saw that big wick up only to then sell off, but eventually the bulls did step up. However, this may have just been a bull trap and the bears eventually did snap that trap shut. And ever since then, Bitcoin has been selling off. Now, if I add in the EMA ribbons, you can see that last week's candle did reject right up here at the bottom of the ribbon. And so until the bulls can actually get a close above the ribbon, this price action is more than likely going to stay on the bearish side. Much like the price action we saw back here where the price action came up into the ribbons and then rejected down. And then you can see several wicks up into the ribbon before the price was able to actually close back above the ribbon. However, again, that could have just been this bull trap where the price rolled back over. And so with that all being said, it's not uncommon for these EMA ribbons to act as resistance or support. And right now, these ribbons are coming in at around 42.5. That would be a level of resistance. And if we look back and check our six, you can see that also was a level of resistance back here. So if the bulls hope to gain any traction, they need to get this price above 42.5 and close above 42.5. Now, if I drop in my Fibonacci levels, you can see the 786 level, which is the blue line running through here. That was a key level that we were looking for Bitcoin to hold for support after it got rejected up at the 618 level of 46.7. Well, obviously we failed to hold that line on the weekly candle close two weeks ago. And then the candle that just closed also failed to get back above this 786 level. So 42.5 on the EMA ribbons will be resistance. I think also you can consider the 786 or around 40,000, say 600 to 700 will be really probably the first level of resistance we need to see the price of Bitcoin get above before we can even take a look at 42.5. Now after 42.5, we could be looking up here at around 45.5, which was previous resistance back here. And then from there, we're looking up at the 618 level where basically Bitcoin rejected from recently and that's going to be around 46.7. In reality right now the bears are in full control of this battlefield and they will be looking to push this price back down to 37.5 which again checking our six is support back here and it was actually pretty good support for several weeks. A break below 37.5 more than likely has us headed back down towards 33,000. And after that, then we're looking back at this 28.8 level, which was support on the previous sell-off. Now, worst case scenario right now, probably would be around 23,000, which would be the 1272 uh, Fibonacci level. Now, if we jump over here to the daily candles, if you recall in my last video, I was watching this trend line of higher lows being set. And at the time, Bitcoin was in danger of setting a lower low. In addition to it was in danger of closing below this trend line. Both those things actually happened. Bitcoin set a lower low and eventually did close below this trend line. So now what I'm keeping an eye on is whether we retest this trend line and continue the sell off or will the buyers step up and get this price action moving back towards the top side. And so some of the key Fibonacci levels I'll be keeping an eye on on the daily chart is going to be the 618 level that has acted as support recently 
and that is around 38,800. And so if the 618 level can hold, then we are going to be more than likely looking at resistance at the 50% level, which is going to be around 40,500 or 600. But the real meaningful resistance level I will be keeping an eye on is going to be the 382 level, and that's going to fall in around 42,400, call it 42,005 which is no surprise that was also a level we were looking at on the weekly chart so 42.5 or this 382 level we have rejected from previously and so that is more than likely a valid level of resistance 42.5 looking for support at 38.8 after that then we are more than likely looking back down towards this 786 level which would come in at 36.2 for support. And if we look back and check R6, you can see all the way back even into here, 36.250 was a key level of support in the past. But if this 786 level at around 36.2 breaks, then we're looking back at 33,000. Now, if we jump over here to the RSI indicator for Bitcoin on the daily charts, you can see we just printed recently a bullish divergence on the RSI, which as a momentum indicator would indicate the momentum should be shifting towards the bullish side. However, I do typically like to see this happen a little closer to the oversold level. And in reality, Bitcoin is not even currently close to what I would consider oversold on the daily candles. And so for now, really the key levels I'm going to be watching for Bitcoin are going to be more than likely 37.5 towards the downside. That really needs to hold as support. And then towards the top side, we need to get back above 40,000, call it 600 or 700. And then from there, we're looking up at more than likely 45.5 that level the 45,500 is really the key level for me to indicate that the bulls are looking to regain control of this battlefield so for now i think that pretty much wraps it up if anything major changes over here on the bitcoin chart i will do an update video so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos if you like this video do me a favor spike a like if you have questions or comments drop them in the comment section down below and at the end of the day remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video <laughs>